quick disclaimer, apologies for the poor audio quality and rushness. This was made late at night in a quick hurry due to the fact this is my own personal notes for an upcoming examination. Use of your own will. Hi, welcome to the Chemistry, Ions and Gas Tests Quick Revision Podcast slash Summary. I'm first going to go through the anions and the aqueous cations and gases and then flame test for metal ions. I'll just read out what the anion is, what the test is, what the result is, and then further on I'll explain at a later date. So first of all, let's go to the anion. Carbonate anion is tested via the addition of dilute acid, and if it is present, then effervescence and CO2 effervescence would occur with carbon dioxide being produced. For the next three, they are halides and are tested via the acidification and then the addition of um, with uh, by the acidification with dilute ni- nitric acid and the addition of aqueous silver nitrate. So chloride with uh, the addition of aqueous silver nitrate after being acidified with dilute ni- nitric acid is produces a white precipitate. Bromide after the acidification with dilute nitric acid and the addition of aqueous silver nitrate forms a cream, a cream precipitate. And then an iodide um, with the addition of aqueous silver nitrate after being diluted with Acidified with dilute nitric acid performs a yellow precipitate. So that's a carbonate produces CO2, chloride produces a white precipitate, bromide produces a cream precipitate, and iodide produces a yellow precipitate. A nitrate is tested by the addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide, aluminum foil, and then a warm and then warmed carefully. So that's the addition of aqueous sodium chloride, aluminum foil and then warms gently to produce ammonia and that's what's produced and ammonia can be tested via the pushing of damp red litmus paper into it and it, that will be then be turned blue. Um, then you've got sulfate uh, anions which are tested via uh, acidification and the addition of aqueous barium nitrate and this produces a white precipitate. Then a sulfite is tested by the addition of hydrochloric acid which is then warmed gently and then tested for sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide is of course produced. The test of sulfur dioxide as you know is that it turns aqueous potassium manganate purple to colourless. Now for the cations test, the aqueous cations test. And uh, aluminium uh, is a white forms a white precipitate in aqueous sodium hydroxide and is soluble in aqueous sodium hydroxide to a colour solution, but insoluble in excess in ammonium. Ammonium, um, when addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide, am- ammonia gas is produced on warming, but of course in aqueous ammonia as there is no effect. Calcium uh, forms a white precipitate which is insoluble in excess in sodium hydroxide and forms a very slight white precipitate in aqueous ammonia. Chromium forms a green precipitate which is soluble in in excess in sodium hydroxide and a grey-green precipitate which is insoluble in excess in aqueous ammonia. Copper 2 plus forms a light blue, blue precipitate which is insoluble in excess in aqueous sodium hydroxide and a light blue precipitate which is soluble in excess to form a royal blue solution in aqueous ammonia. Iron 2 um, forms a green precipitate which is insoluble in excess in both sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia. And iron 3 plus forms a red brown precipitate which is again both insoluble in sodium hydroxide and ammonia. Zinc forms a white precipitate which is soluble in excess in both sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia. For the gases, you test ammonia gas by putting in a damp red litmus paper and this turns blue. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. Chlorine bleaches damp litmus paper. Hydrogen pops when a lighted splint is added. Oxygen relights a glowing splint. And sulfur dioxide turns acidified aqueous potassium 7 manganate purple to colourless. The flame tests for metal ions are for lithium. Lithium, the flame t- colour is red. For sodium, it is yellow. For potassium, it is lilac. And for copper, it is blue slash green.